I, uh, I don't think it exists, <laughs> real German, but um, I still think that um, that the German language is a thing that you can't, like that the existence you can't deny. So people who live here and, I mean, at least after they live here a while, and if you can't communicate in the German language, then I would think it's hard to consider yourself a real German if you want to use this term. I don't think that you have to be able to speak German to be a real German. Um, I, to me, um, citizenship and the ability to fully participate in society by voting or um, not having to go to the Ausländerbehörde, for example, not having to declare yourself a foreigner, to me, makes you a real German. That said, I would hope that the, the threshold to becoming a citizen is lowered significantly so that um, being born in Germany is enough to be a citizen. Um, applying for citizenship is not as hard as it is right now. I agree. It's, it's about how you can take part in public life and civic life, and that is ultimately achieved, or what gives you the permission to do so is German citizenship. And also by having citizenship, I mean, that also already means that you speak some decent German, uh, you know German history, there are tests for that. Actually, probably the ones that, uh, that get German citizenship on their own, like as an achievement, like coming from somewhere else, probably are well, way better educated in many things than Germans by birth, because they get to be born here, but maybe not as well educated in history or language. I realize that the way I experience what a real German is, is by experiencing the things that I know I can't do, or that the, the things that I don't do naturally, um, which are you know these norms that make their way into stereotypes. And then on the other side of it, I teach German as a foreign language in the US, and when I do, I'm actively fighting against these stereotypes because I want people to see Germanness and being a German as something that's very fluid. So if I get curriculum that has anything about like Bratwurst or Oktoberfest, I'm like, no, I don't want to talk about this because they will always associate Germanness with this thing. So I do that in my presentation of what a German is to outsiders, but as kind of a semi-outsider in Germany. I am constantly creating Germanness through my own experience. You ask somebody who was, has parents from Cameroon, where they're from, and they say France, that's not accepted or that's not taken at face value. And it has to do a lot with the construction of narratives, and it has to do with the formation of some sort of aesthetic picture. Um, and a lot of the divisions that are made come from the idea of a narrative, us and them, be it skin color or religious belief or political belief. So when it comes to saying what makes somebody German, it is very arbitrary. Is it birthright? Is it your parents' birthright? Is it where you've grown up? Um, but it's not actually any sort of standard or criteria on it. It's what kind of a picture it makes and how aesthetic it looks to whoever you're trying to appeal to. When I look at integration approaches in Austria or somewhere else, I often get the feeling you want to assimilate them so much and integrate that there's no difference instead of saying that we don't need to all be one one or we, we all embrace our individuality and we all want to be somehow different, but we don't want to give the others the right to live that uh, complexity or their culture, but actually we should be so proud that we are living in a, in a, in a nation state that gives people the opportunity to be how and who they are. And this is that we cultivate that other than saying like, you have to be like us. Maybe there's a sort of paradox in dealing with diversity or dealing with maybe on the integration question. And it's in a sense two paradoxical realizations perhaps that come one after another. The first is actually we're not all that different from each other. And the second is, but difference is also not that bad. And I, I feel if we can get those two things done, the whole dealing with difference and diversity might be a bit easier. Mm -hmm.